Hi. Okay. First of all, thank you for asking questions. Thank you for asking questions which, because when you ask a question, I know what to talk about. I know what bothers you and what problem I'm supposed to solve to help you understand Serbian better. So thank you for your questions first. These are your questions that I will explain today. Today I want to explain uh, the future tense in Serbian and Croatian and the difference in all the forms that, uh, that we use. And I will explain the difference and the equali equality equality is there a word equality the equal you know the how do you say jednakost isto i don't know želeti and hteti they're uh, aha, synonymous yeah they're synonymous meaning and they're different meaning first to start with uh, the synonymous hteti and i have written here hteti means will and want so we use the, the verb hteti uh, for will and want. And the verb želeti means to wish and also to want. So this is their synonymous meaning, to want, to want something. But they also have different meanings. Wish, želeti, ja želim nešto, to je moja želja. Želja means a wish. Želja. Hteti also means to want, but the different meaning is will. And this will is exactly the same like in the English language, uh, where we use will and it, uh, uh, to, to form the future tense. And we also use hteti to form the future tense. So when they are synonymous and they both mean to want, we can say Hoću knjigu, hoću ovu knjigu, I want this book. Or we can say želim ovu knjigu, I wish or I want to have this book, želim ovu knjigu. We combine them with the, with the accusative case, obviously. You can see the u here for, for knjigu, for the accusative. Želim knjigu, hoću knjigu, yes, I want it, give it to me. And we can also complete both of these verbs with da and the present tense. I want to read. Hoću da čitam. Želim da čitam. I wish to read or also I want to read. Uh, they are used synonymously oftentimes, but there is also a slight difference because hteti is stronger than želeti. Ja hoću I want to do it and it's you know it's connected to the future tense meaning I will do it versus želeti I wish to do it it's not so very certain that I will eventually do it with želeti so hteti is more certain than želeti and now uh, okay uh -huh. Another example that I have written here is that we also use this verb hteti and usually in its short forms, ćeš, so the short forms come without ho, we just use ću and ćeš. When we speak in everyday language to ask what do you want, uh, we don't use very much kind sentences, we ask people directly what do they want. So. I would ask if me, for example, me and my family are out for, for uh, at a restaurant and the, the waiter comes and says, Izvolite, what will you order? Mm, I will ask my husband, Šta ćeš ti? What will you have? Because I'm not sure what I want to have, so I want to ask him what he will have so that I can get an idea what, uh, what we are drinking. So I will ask, Šta ćeš ti? And he will say, Ja ću kaf. I will have a coffee. We just use the short form or, uh, uh, of the verb hteti. Šta ćeš ti? Ja ću kafu. E, I ja ću. I could answer with i ja ću. Me too. I will have the coffee too. I ja ću. I, uh, in an unusual place, 
when you see it in an unusual place means also as well on the other hand in this context when we're ordering and asking for food or drink we do not really use the verb želeti unless we're children children will have will say nicely želim sok or they will just say daj mi sok sipaj mi sok give me or pour me some juice but they will say nicely želim sok ili molim sok please can i have a, a juice molim sok but this is only for children really uh, adults do not say that all right so this is hteti i želeti how we use them we only use hteti to form the future tense and i have written here some uh, future tense examples ja ću da čitam ja ću da dođem or rather i would start from the low part čitaću čitaću i will read i doći ću i will come ja ću čitati i ja ću doći uh, these two are actually the same thing so ja ću čitati is the same thing as čitaću what happens uh, if we delete ja if we don't use a word before uh, the future tense we will the clitic here this little word because it doesn't have the accent it's without tone it's un, it's pronounced without stress it will go to the end of the word and then we lose t and get chita chu i will read chita chu so ya chu chita ti is really the same as chita chu just the word order is different and when the wor word order changes we lose t and uh, write chita chu and this goes for all the verbs ending in t the the verbs ending in chi do not stick together with a verb and do not change their infinitive ja ću doći doći ću we just reverse the ver word order but we don't delete anything doći ću ja ću doći doći ću and that's for all the chi verbs this lower part ja ću čitati ja ću doći čitat ću i doći ću uh, that's the future tense typical for the Slavic languages. Uh, however, in Serbia today we have a lot of this future tense. Ja ću da čitam. Ja ću da dođem. We use the verb hteti. Ja ću ti ćeš on će and so on. So the short forms. Ja ću. And then we complete it with da and the present tense ja ću da dođem uh, this is not just the present tense because you will see in many other instances that infinitive is often replaced by da plus present tense and this is typical for the balkans actually Th this is balkan uh, sprachbund <laughs> feature it's the same in Greek, for example. In the modern Greek, you don't have infinitive at all. You only have na erfo, na pao, thelo na. Uh, uh, the, this construction, ja ću da čitam, is exactly the same like in the Greek language. I know that there are some Greeks and people speaking Greek listening to me. Yasas, <laughs> kalimera. Uh, the future tense is exactly the same like in, in the modern Greek language. The, this, uh, this uh, let's say, Balkans future. This is Slavic. And this is Balkans. Okay? Let me catch my breath. <laughs> All right. Uh, the truth is that this balkans future 
future tense, Balkans future tense, uh, was, how do you say, uh, was looked uh, as a bad way of speaking by many uh, grammarians, many linguists and prescriptivists. However, in modern day uh, Serbian language, uh, it has become the norm most of the times. So we use it a lot. Uh, you will even see it on the television, in the books, everywhere. So it's, it's become a norm and it's ev eventually it's been adopted to the norm as well. Uh, there is, however, a slight difference between the regions of Serbia. So the southern Serbia and central Serbia, Belgrade included, will probably use more of this Balkans future. In the north, however, we use a lot of this future. Ja ću čitati, čita ću. Um, and oftentimes you will see there is a, a, the similarity between, you know, in the north, uh, Vojvodina, where I currently live. Uh, we use some features that are the same in the standard Croatian language. So in Croatia, uh, this Balkans future is unacceptable in the Croatian language. In Serbian, both future tenses are acceptable and used. Now, I will go back here to this example. Hoću da čitam, I want to read. Želim da čitam, I wish to read. In standard Croatian, you have to say hoću čitati. I želim čitati. This is also acceptable uh, in the Serbian standard, but it's not used very much. If it's used, you will, you will hear it uh, in northern Serbia, in Vojvodina. One more last thing about the future tense, and if you have uh, questions, yeah, uh, I will read. Yeah, okay, Yvonne, I've seen, I've, uh, yeah, 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 I've seen your question. If you have any questions, you can write them now because I will explain one final thing about the future tense and then answer your questions if you have any. If not, I will, I will finish with this, okay? So the last thing I want to tell you, if you have friends in Croatia, in Zagreb, and the, uh, in this region around Zagreb, you will also hear a different future tense which will remind you of the Russian future if you know the Russian language. <coughs> so in the Russian, you know, we form the future with uh, budem. Budem uh, is the is a form of verb to be. Wh wh where should I write it? Write this. Let it, I, I'll write it here. So I'll write here uh, Kaikarian future. Kaikavian uh, is a dialect uh, in, uh, uh, spoken in Zagreb, well, in Zagorje, in Zagreb they, sp they speak a mixture of this dialect and standard, and it's close to Slovenian. Uh, so in this Kaikavian and in Zagreb, you will hear the future tense with budem. Uh, for example, when, <laughs> when I got my vaccine, uh, my friend from Zagreb asked me, budeš i drugu dozu primila. So, will budeš i drugu dozu primila. This is Croatian now. I'm talking about how a friend from Zagreb asked me about my vaccine. So, will you also the second dose receive? That's how we say we receive the vaccine. Budeš i drugu dozu primila. In, in standard Croatian, hoćeš li, will you, i drugu dozu primiti? Will you receive? And now uh, other variants, you know, in Serbian, da li ćeš primiti? So in Kajkavian ka ka future, they use this form of verb to be, similar to the Russian future, um, budem došla, we use budem, and then the participle, the same participle that we use 
in the past tense in the Serbian and Croatian language. Budem uh, is the perfect form of verb to be. So uh, I will link afterwards, I have a, uh, an article about all the forms of verb to be. So we have ja sam, uh, ja jesam i ja budem. This is another form, a perfect form of verb to be. Budeš i drugu dozu primila, another future tense that you can hear uh, in uh, Zagreb and in uh, Zagorje, in the Kajkavian region. Okay? So these are, I think, uh, I think I explained most or everything about the future tense. There are many forms and it, it's all the same future uh, for us. Yeah, I wanted to add something else. This form, ja ću da čitam, the Balkans future, um, it, it's very interesting because, because it uses the clitic and you will read everywhere that we can't uh, use a clitic in the beginning of the sentence. We have to put one word before and, and so on. In speaking, we actually do. In South Serbia, people will start a sentence with ću. In Central and South Serbia, in some dialects, they will say ću da dođem, ću da dođem. Or even some people will will not say da. So I know I know some there are some people watching me from Niš. So in Niš, that's a city, the biggest city in South Serbia, you will hear you will hear this future ću čitam. Which is exactly like Greek. Sa diavazo. Okay? Ću čitam. I'll read. But this is dialectal. This is not standard. This is not acceptable in the standard language. Um, yeah, and I think that's most of it. All right. Does anyone have any questions for me today? I believe I answered all of your questions with this. And let me quickly recap all this. Maybe there, if there's anyone that uh, has joined us now, I will quickly recap all this. So, hteti i želeti are synonymous in one meaning. They both have two meanings. When they both mean want, they are synonymous. But they both have specific meanings, and that's will for hteti. Hteti means will. Želeti means to wish. That's specific. We can use them uh, uh, with both of them. We use the uh, uh, we use a noun in accusative as an object to say that we want something. We want to have it. Hoću knjigu. I want that book. Or želim knjigu. I wish that book. With hoću knjigu, I'm more likely to take the book. With želim knjigu, I'm less likely to have it in the end. Not necessarily, but that's the connotation of wishing that makes me think of, you know, I, I wish for it, I want it, I'm not sure if I can have it. And that's what makes the children ask nicely with želim sok. I would like some juice, but don't use this in, in a restaurant. Uh, both of these verbs can be completed with the da and the present tense or with the infinitive. Da and the present tense is more common in Serbia. Both are standard Serbian and acceptable, but da and present tense is more used in Serbia. Uh, infinitive is more used in northern Serbia, in Vojvodina. Uh, there are many uh, and, and the final thing, there are many uh, features of the future tense, and this is only futur prvi. This is only futur prvi. Uh -huh. uh, so stay until the end. I need to one more thing. I need to add one more thing. Stay until the end. Ja ću da čitam is Balkans future, which is accepted today in the standard Serbian uh, in the Serbian standard. The standard and the nicer future is the Slavic future tense, ja ću čitati, 
that, ha that also has another form, Chitachu, where we put the clitic in the end, Chitachu. Written together for verbs in T and written separately for the verbs in Chi. Ya, Chu, Do, Chi, Do, Chi, Chu. In southern Serbia, in Nish, people will use this future tense. Chu, Chi, Tam, Ćeš, Do, Ćeš. And uh, maybe even in central Serbia, in rural uh, uh, areas and in some dialects as well. In Zagreb and in Croatia, in Croatian, in the Croatian standard, only the infinitive is accepted. This is Croatian standard as well. However, in Zagreb and in Kaikavian region, they use this Kaikavian future tense, which is the same, or which, which looks very much like the Russian future tense. Budem došla, budeš primila. Budeš i budem. Budem došla, I will come. Uh, this budem i budesh is also often contracted to bum, bum i bush in speech. Often contracted to bum, bush. Budem došla, bum došla. Budeš došla, bush došla. Bumo došli and so on. Uh, this Kekavian future actually reminds us of the second future tense. Futur drugi, the future, the second, futur drugi, and now I don't have more uh, space to write here, but I will write it down. So this is, all these, this is futur prvi, future the first, futur prvi, but there is also future the second, I will write it like this, futur drugi, future the second, uh, this is conditional future. We never, never use it uh, on its own. We use it to say, to express the past of in the future. You know, there is a future event that we refer to, and then we refer to another future event that happens before this future event, if you know what I mean. So the past in the future, or a condition in the future. Ako budem došla, if I come, like if I will come, if I'm able to come. Ako budeš mogli, ako budeš mogla. Okay. Uh, ja čitaću, okay, I have one question. I heard that a sentence like ja čitaću, is incorrect. Is that so? Yes, that is so. And this is exactly what I explained here. So when we don't use a word before this chu, this short little chu is a word that is called klitik, klitika, and rather enklitika. So this little word doesn't have the accent. I call them uh, the, the, the word the a crutch. You know, so this little word needs a crutch before it, needs one word with a tone before it. So, ja ću, ja ću, we pronounce this as one word, ja ću čitati. So, when we remove ja, we can add sutra ću čitati, I will read tomorrow, sutra ću čitati. But if there's nothing here, the little word needs to fly to the end needs to move to the end of this word because it needs a tone before to rely on and becomes citaciu, citaciu, because of the tone. That's why ja citaciu is incorrect because we say ja ciu citati, uh, ja citaciu doesn't go. Okay, another question. Futur dva is also used in Serbian or only in Croatian? Uh, uh, both, both, in Serbian and Croatian. Standard Serbian and standard Croatian uh, uh, differ very slightly. There are almost no differences. So y you mix and they look uh, very much the same. That's why you, you're confused. Because we have ako budem došla as the future second in standard Serbian 
and standard creation uh, conditional future tense conditional future tense we used to say if I come when I come it's expressed with a condition on the other hand in this Kaikavian region they use this future budem dosha like just a normal future to mean I will come not as a conditional future so this is dialectal this is dialectal budem dosha ako budem dosha is both Serbian and Croatian standard okay do you have any more questions today for me? Uh, I want to read just uh, I think I, I've got I think I answered both your questions and explained everything about the future. Eva, I think it, it was it was your question uh, in the, that you posted in the group and I'm uh, actually answering to you I think so I'm glad that you're here <laughs> because I'm answering your question. Okay, so no more questions for me today? Dobro. Hvala, Ivon. Hvala, drago mi je. Dobro. Hvala vam što ste slušali danas objašnjenje. Nadam se da je bilo korisno. I hope it was useful. I hope that you understood everything that I tried to explain. And see you around. I will see you. Uh, yeah, if anyone of you wants to chat with me, um, I've, I'm doing the Pričaonica on Mondays. So every Monday you can join me on Zoom to have a quick chat with me if, you, if you'd like. I invite you to share my coffee break with me on Monday. Okay. Hvala puno i vidimo se. Ciao, ciao svima. Reamo, so what about perfective future? You mean perfective future, um, future of the perfective verbs, or what are you referring to? <laughs> this is another topic, a different topic. If you want to talk about the uh, future tense of perfective and imperfective verbs, uh, I'm waiting for you to confirm. Ray Amos. Ray Amos asked me a question, but uh, I think there is a few minutes delay, so. Uh, yeah, perfective future. The, you know, the future tense of perfective and imperfective verbs, that's actually very simple. Um, simply, in the future tense, if you use a perfective verb, it means you want to do something once and complete it and be done with it. If you use an imperfect verb in the future tense, it means that you want to either be doing it right in this moment or that you want to keep doing it in the future. Okay? Example. Um, želim da... No, that's okay. Not, not with jelly, <laughs> that's with the modal verbs, but with modal verbs is the same. In the future tense, if you say uh, I'm talking about the process, I will be doing that, I will be reading the book this evening when you go out. I will be reading the book. Versus that means I will read this book until the end, I will finish reading it. Uh, till the end. That's perfective and imperfective verbs in the future tense. Very simple. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for listening to me, for being around, and for letting me be a part of your world as well. Hvala vam. Vidimo se. Ciao.